Act number one to be more productive. Have a good night of sleep. Sounds easy, but 95% of us are not even optimizing our sleep. We are either not sleeping enough or our quality of sleep is garbage. I have a simple analogy about that. If you had to go to a destination of 500 miles and your car had a 500 mile tank, would you fit it up half empty before starting your trip? If you would, then you ain't productive, you ain't efficient. You know that you'll have to stop to get to the final destination and waste time there. But if you had a good night of sleep and you're 100% energetic and you feel fresh and you're not grungy and you can focus easily and you don't have to do three naps or to, to relax too much or even like close your eye a bit or close one eye, then you can get there way faster. And that's how I'm productive. There's a good book that I've read recently about sleep and it's Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. I highly recommend this book. Um, it's something that will change your life and if it's one of the things that you can optimize to be more productive, to have a better physique, to have a better life in general, have better mood, uh, learn faster, it's sleep. So it's super important. I also made a video about 11 acts that I use to, to act my sleep, to sleep better, to be more efficient, even though that sometime I don't have eight hours or seven hours. There's many things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis to optimize my sleep so the next day I can be super productive and on top of my game. The link of all those resources are in the description of this video. There's also a video that I made recently about the Oura Ring. It's a sleep tracker that I'm using right now. It's just a small ring to optimize my sleep and see how I sleep, my sleep stages and stuff like that. Also put the link in the description of this video and you can check it out. Super useful tool. Act number two, the real to-do list. When you go somewhere, do you stop at random places? Do you take random exit and try to land where you want to go? No, you follow a precise direction. It's the same thing with work or anything that you want to start. A good way to do it is to write with a pen and paper. It's super powerful for some reason to write it physically and think about what you write, you know, to bring it into the physical world, into the real world. I use pretty often the Benjamin Franklin method to plan my day. This method is super powerful when you combine it with Asana. It's a free project management tool I've been using for years and you can literally just create boards and it's just good to get your project done. I have also resources for this hack and there's a book called Scrum by uh, JJ Sutherland. It's an awesome book. I highly recommend this book if you want to be productive and just really get your project until the end. You know, there's a lot of people like who struggle to meet deadlines and things like that. And this method of work is pretty good. Also link the Benjamin Franklin method and everything is in the description of this video. Hack number three, work out. Energy is in motion. It helps to develop energy, be healthier, balance your hormones. It's the best antidepressor. It will fight stress. It's literally the best magic pill out there. And it's free. You can just move, do anything, and it will make you optimal and go to dreamland even faster at night. So we cycle back to act number one. Just go work out. No matter what it is, if you want to do yoga, if you want to run, if you want to do anything, just move. We are not meant to be sedentary, so move. Move more. Act number four, call your productive session by a name. I know it sounds super simple, but you know, guys, our life is literally a perception of our life. And if you start doing that, you will, you will see that it's getting just easier to get in the flow, get in the zone. It helps us to embody the vibe that we want to have during the work, you know, to be focused, energetic, to be on the task itself. So my productive session, I just call them productive session. It's like a focus session. And a focus session for me, I try to minimize a lot of things and it will follow up in the next act. Act number five, remove all distraction, even your phone. Yes, you heard me well. Remove ambient sound by listening to music or using a noise cancellation headset to be in the zone. I use a Bose QC35, but there's many options out there and they're getting more and more affordable. And you say that, like, you, you might wonder why I say, like, ah, get rid of your phone. You might think that I'm always on my phone because most of my business is surrounded by social media, you know? But the thing is, if I want to serve the world, being in flow state is basically being completely focus on the task at end. You forget about yourself, you forget about others, you forget about time. You lose yourself in the task. You feel even more happy 
and you feel in control and you're becoming the most creative and productive self. And that's what I try to trigger every single day as much as possible. And that's why I need to get rid of my phone. I need to get rid of distraction, people interrupting me and things like that. Because if I'm not doing that, then I cannot be the most productive self and not the most creative self as well. So there's two things that I do with my phone. First off, I put it upside down. So when I'm in a focus session, I put it upside down. So I have no distraction. I don't have any notification on. There's no vibration on my phone. It's only when I open my phone that I go look to what happened. You can also put it on airplane mode if you want to. At night, that's what I do. But during the day, I just put it upside down and it helped me to focus. And it also, it's also like a ritual now. As soon as I put my phone upside down, I know I'm in a focus session and it's just getting easier to enter into flow state. There's multiple books I can recommend. The first one is Deep Work, Rules for Focused Successes in a Distracted World by Carl Newport. The second book is Getting Things Done by David Allen. The third book is The One Thing by Jay Papazin. The fourth book is Think Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman, if I said right. And um, another one is Smarter, Faster, Better by Charles Dahig. I'm not sure if I pronounce it properly. I'm not affiliated with any of those authors, but this, those are the books that I bought that I feel that was useful in any capacities. It's not the entire book that is super powerful for me. It's maybe just one chapter, but this chapter is worth reading the entire book. Act number six, deep focus session with music. I like any music without any voice. For me, it's just easier to focus. A lot of people like will listen to trendy music and stuff like that, but you have to try the focus playlist on Spotify. There's many other options out there. I like this one. So the type of music that I'm, that I'm listening while working is usually electronic music, classical music, binaural beat, epic movie soundtrack, and much more. I'll put a couple links in the description of this video. There's many things in the description, guys. So make sure to click and just explore and just try things out, you know, explore for yourself, see what works. Act number seven, clean your workspace. Zen space to be focused on one thing and not have any eyesight distraction while you work is so crucial. I use aromatherapy to optimize my energy. It includes products such as incense or essential oil to create a nice atmosphere. So that's what I do. Act number eight. If you don't set a due time, it's like declaring death to your goal. And it sounds dramatic, but uh, that's the truth. You need a deadline. I find it really good to create focus session per task and use a timer to battle against time. I use an app called Be Focus Pro that I'm showing you right now on the screen that sync with my phone and computer. It helped me to focus. And also, if there's any distraction occurring, I know that I have to keep focusing on what I started because I will run out of time. I usually do seven 45 to 60 minute session of intense focus per day. I take a 20 minutes off mentally every two or three hours. Some will need breaks more often and it's okay, but with practice, you can stay focused for a longer period of time. The more you trigger flow state, the easier it is to trigger it and to be in it as often as possible. It's like a muscle. You control it more and more and and it's just like that. It's something that I've explored for many, many years and it's something that I'm mastering now and this is why I'm so productive in a day. Act number nine. I take a 20 minutes off mentally every two or three hours. Some will need breaks more often and it's okay. During these 20 minutes, I focus on getting more energy by either a mental break or meditating or just chilling out and just nothing about anything that I need to get done, you know? Sometimes it's just good to reset our nervous system. Sometimes I can even like just do a nap if I feel I need a nap because usually when I'm doing a lot of decision early in the day and when I see a lot, it's like a lot. I need like in the afternoon around 2 or 3 p.m. just to do a quick 15 to 20 minute nap and then I'm ready to go for the next five hours. So optimize your 20 minutes as much as possible. Jump on on a rebounder, uh, make some, some, some smoothies, make a uh, Eat healthy, rich food in, in minerals, vitamins. Hydrate yourself. Most of us are not hydrating yourself enough. And most of the time we're tired because we're not hydrated. And the tenth one is just be open-minded to try different things that works for you. Create your own ritual. 
And as you've seen, I didn't talk about any stimulant or any like supplement that I take because those are individual preferences. For sure, I like coffee. I like yerba mate. Um, I like the C4 from Celucor. Those are the things like stimulant that help me to be in the zone and more focused and work out better. But this is something that you need to try for yourself. So be open-minded, try and just explore and see what works for you. Now, let's focus. Focus.